for the dumbbell clean, we're gonna be bringing that dumbbell from the floor up to the goblet position. Two reasons you'd use this. One, you wanna set up for a goblet squat. Two, you just wanna do dumbbell cleans. Uh, I don't recommend making this a staple exercise. It just gets a little awkward with the dumbbell. I, I'd prefer using a kettlebell or a barbell, uh, but if a dumbbell is all you have available, it's great to develop that explosive hip extension power as you're continuing to work on your deadlift skills. Uh, we're gonna set this up the exact same way we did for the dumbbell deadlift. So if you haven't already, or if you need to re-familiarize yourself, go ahead and check out our video on the dumbbell deadlift. It's gonna be the exact same position setting up. I won't go too much over that, but I will go over the clean portion of this movement. So first thing we're gonna do is set up that dumbbell vertically center between our feet and lining up the handle with the center of the feet. The feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. The toes are straight ahead, the heels are down. We're gonna set up our knees and hips by bending at the knees and hips and spreading the floor apart with the feet, driving the knees out, butt back, creating that tension on the outside of our legs. From here, we're gonna make those Ninja Turtle fingers that we made with the uh, dumbbell deadlift video. We're gonna wedge that dumbbell handle in between the center created by those wedges. We're gonna place the palms, pull the palms in tight, towards that dumbbell, biceps forward, take the slack out of the dumbbell, taking a nice deep belly breath. From here, we're gonna powerfully extend the knees and hips, and in the top, we're gonna switch where our hands go. So we're gonna go from fingers down to fingers up. We're gonna catch that dumbbell in a nice tight goblet position with the forearms vertical and the elbows in tight with one swift movement. The dumbbell actually catches a little bit of air, so you need to be quick. When you come back down, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna allow that dumbbell to slide down. You're gonna rotate your hands and catch. As you can see, using a dumbbell and getting heavier and heavier and heavier with the dumbbell is gonna make this super awkward because that dumbbell head gets really big and it gets a lot more awkward to try to hold on to through those transitions. Here it is from the front. And the side. As you're cleaning it up, you want to keep that dumbbell nice and close to your torso. Trying to avoid moving it away from you. That's how you do a dumbbell clean. <laughs> 